Oh, yeah. Oh, get wrecked, noob! Oh! I spit on you, you fool! Oh, no. I got cocky. I got cocky. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some more of the Ravenfield Star Wars project. Today we're going to be doing the Battle of Exegol. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, let's get it poppin'. We're going to be spawning in this hangar thing. Uh, and from what I can tell, this map is just absolutely gorgeous. I've seen screenshots, but have not played on it myself. We got some X-Wings here. I guess we stole these X-Wings from the Resistance. I I guess? I don't know. Um, no! Don't steal my ship! No! Sir! Get out! Get out! Sir! No! I- I didn't mean to blow it up. I- I- I did- I did- I- oh, I- I'm so sorry. I'm- I'm so sorry. Um... Is it still manable? No, it's on fire. What are you talking about, Daily? Of course it's not manable. Um, I'm just gonna run away from this situation. Um, nothing happened. Oh! New ship! Oh, okay, yeah, all the evidence is erased. I'm down with that. I can... I'm okay with taking this new ship and forgetting that anything happened. If you guys are cool with that too, you know, I'd, I'd appreciate the support in this one. Thank you, fan base. I appreciate it. Okay, let's roll. Best pilot in the gosh dang galaxy entering into the airspace here. Okay, so I believe that's actually the enemy ship uh, over there that's dropping off troopers. Oh, and that must be an enemy ship. Uh, I believe it is because it looks like it came from there. I know some of these guys have to be enemies because we all have the same type of vehicle because that's just how Ravenfield works. Oh. Wait, how do I land this thing again? Is it not space? Wait. Oh, if we could... I don't think we can take it. I don't think we can take it. Alright. Let's just help with the ground assault. Ooh, enemy transport ship. Take it out. Oh, don't don't ram it. We're not kamikaze just yet. We're not kamikaze just yet. We gotta build up to that. Alright, let's see. Oh, we got an enemy assault right here. Let's actually drop. Oh, those are allies. It's a good thing I'm I'm a pretty bad shot and missed every shot because I, <laughs> I would have killed all these guys. But we on the ground now. Ow! Now they're shooting me. Not cool, dudes. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it right now! Do I have a health pack? No, I don't. Dang it! Oh, my God. Okay, wait. Here they are. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go! Ooh, nice little double. Can we make it a triple? Triple, triple side with fries. Get wrecked, dude. Oh, got more enemies over there. Had to whip out the old pistol, which is really just an SMG. The best of both worlds. All right, let's cap this flag. BEA, beautiful, nice movement there. To the my first order, brothers. Love it. Uh-oh. They still spawning, though. They still spawning. <sighs> nice job. Okay. So, apparently, this map actually took five months for the creator to make. That is that is absolutely nuts. Five months, but you can tell that that time was was necessary because this is an absolutely gorgeous map. I thought I pulled my parachute. That's my bad. Um, yeah, this map is absolutely gorgeous. There's so much detail involved in it. it you can see just so much love went into this map and i gotta give the creators from the star wars project props for this thing um because it, it, it's amazing the star wars project on ravenfield is super underrated um it, it's one of those things where it's like on, on a game that star wars is not super prevalent on i would say like in men of war like star wars is huge in um, Arma 3, Star Wars is huge, things like that. But in Ravenfield, Star Wars has always taken sort of a backseat to other things like World War II and, and stuff like that. Um, so the, the Star Wars project always, I feel like, doesn't get the attention it deserves. I mean, it gets a lot of attention, uh, but not, not as much as I think it deserves. It, these maps are phenomenal. They've done so many of them. Scarif, uh, they've done uh, Geonosis, they've done... Um, I'm blanking on some of the others, but they, they've done a lot, and they are honestly always absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, they put so much time and effort into them. I think they are well worth a check out if you guys have Ravenfield and you want to look at some Star Wars mods because they are they are truly, truly phenomenal. Um, I've been trying to get this gunship down forever. Yes, I got it! Nice! Oh, there's a second one. Ah, this gun is not good. Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh! Ah, oh no! Yep. Okay, they flanked me. That was a little double double whammy right there, if you ask me. <laughs> a, little, a little double whammy, Kazami. I'm not a fan. How about you guys stop bullying me and let me live? Yeah, there we go. There we go. I got my vengeance. Uh, one left. Oh, I hit him in the booty. Booty clapped. Bam! Gopnik Adams, get wrecked, dude. No! There's always another resistance soldier. God dang it! God dang it, dude. Alright, it actually looks like we are losing that, though. Uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna have to spawn on the outside here, then. Oh, this isn't the outside, I guess. Oh, there's the outside. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Following my red brothers into battle, boys! Um, yeah, I mean, Exegol is such a cool concept, too. I love the idea of a, um, battle on the outside of a, um, Star Destroyer. It, it's very cool in concept, though I, I can't agree with uh, the way it was done in The Rise of Skywalker. Um, you guys know the sequels aren't really my favorite. Um, they're definitely my least favorite trilogy, but I, I don't hate them as much as I think some people do. Um, that, <laughs> in all honesty, The Force Awakens? One of my favorite Star Wars movies. Well, eh. Top seven, maybe? Top eight, maybe? I don't know. Some, something like that. But I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's definitely... I guess it's not really one of my favorites, considering all of the possible contenders that could be considered favorites, because Star Wars has a solid lineup overall. But it is a movie that I personally enjoyed. I've always found it necessary to have as much buildup as they did in that. I mean, you need to get the old fans on board who want the nostalgia of Star Wars and want a Star Wars story, but you also have to reintroduce all the concepts and things like that to a brand new generation. So I always sort of understood the... My own teammate killed me. Sir Penguin, you suck, dude. <laughs> I've always understood the the reason behind the force awakens and so I've always kind of given that one a pass and I've always enjoyed it I always felt like it was setting up something greater um, But then you guys might know I I hate the last Jedi. I think the last Jedi is Just not good. It's just not a good movie It's not entertaining the only parts of it that I like are the action scenes and that's because you really can't mess that up considering the fact that that you have like a billion dollar budget for these effects and and battle scenarios and things like that like that's honestly the only saving grace of that movie <laughs> is the battle scenes i i think the movie is just poorly contrived and and bad all of all overall um but unlike most other people who hate the last jedi i actually really enjoyed the rise of skywalker i thought it was a fun good movie i'd give it probably like a seven and a half out of ten something like that um I, I thought it was good. I, I didn't think it was great. I thought a lot of it was way off and, and, you know, really flimsy with Star Wars lore and they didn't handle, you know, or respect. Why do I keep getting killed by teammates? Oh! I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain my opinions here and you all keep killing me. Boy. Stop that. Like I was saying, I feel like they, they handled this rich and beautiful lore really, really poorly in it. Almost disrespecting a lot of things that previous co uh, content creators in Star Wars um, have, you know, grown to such a, a large level. Um, and, and the Battle of Exegol is partially that. I mean, it doesn't make any sense how Lando was able to get this entire Resistance fleet there. Meanwhile, Leia, just a movie before, couldn't, you know? It, it doesn't make any sense. And and so fast. Like, in within... Within minutes, getting this thing here when they desperately need it. It just doesn't make sense. You know, it's so contrived. Um, on top of that, the whole Emperor thing, I was like, really? You're bringing back the Emperor again? C come on. Come on. Uh, not to mention him, you know, spawning in a bajillion different vehicles. Star Destroyers, nonetheless. And all of them being controlled by one single ship that needed to be destroyed. <gasps> Come on. 
come on. It, it's like Star Wars thinks, you know, Disney thinks we're all idiots. Like, those are some of the problems I have with um, Rise of Skywalker. Um, yeah, it, it just felt silly. Um, but overall, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was better than The Last Jedi, at the very least, you know. Um, sequel is still not my favorite, though. But the concept of this battle is always cool. I mean, fighting on the outside of a ship like this, it should be sick, dude. Should be amazing. I wish we got more of this in, like, the Clone Wars and the prequels. That would... That'd be so cool to see clone troopers, you know, fighting on the outside of a ship like this in a massive troop landing. We, we got, like, touches of that in, with space battles, but nothing, nothing like this. This was, this was dope. Okay, we're capturing this flag here real quick. We need to go take that ship, but I need a starfighter to do that. And all of those are in the hangar, so we're going to have to go and dive in, although... There's actually not that much uh, troopers left in the battle, so maybe we don't even have to get up there. We could just drain them of their resources and catch a quick victory. Okay. Parachute, parachute. Okay, we got the parachute out. Just need to cap this real quick, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's... Oh, here we go. I was going to say, there's no enemies around here. Well, that guy got tapped real quick. Nice job. All right, cool. You finish capping this. I'm going to move on. So yeah, I mean, overall, I like the uh, the sequels, but I do have some problems with it. But I mean, gosh dang, the Star Wars project for Ravenfield did a phenomenal job with this map. They do a phenomenal job with most maps. Gotta give props to them, man. Gotta give the props to them. So definitely, definitely check them out. Where am I? Where do I go? This map of confusion. This map is very confusing. Okay, I'm gonna respawn. I'm gonna respawn real quick, because I am lost. I am lost, dude. <laughs> it's a maze in here. What? Okay, I'm back in the maze, but I think I know my way out. Yes! Okay! B-E-A, beautiful. Now we can get back on the deck, where we know there are enemies who we can help with the cause, boys! We do outnumber the resistance about two to one, so this should be in the bag. We just need to take this point over there. Oh, we got enemies. Got the sniper. Yes! The double tap gets the kill, baby. Oh, they're still in those trenches over there. Come on. Come on! What? Do I need to arc up? Oh, there we go. I don't know how I was missing that. I feel like I was dead on with my iron sights right there for a little bit, at least. I don't understand that. Straight up, boy. All right. Oh! Get wrecked, noob! Oh! I spit on you! You fool! Oh no! I got cocky. I got cocky. Okay. Well, enough of this cockiness. Let's get back in there. Let's get back in there. I love this thing. Dude, this rocket launcher is sick. It's so good. It is so unbelievably good. We've been able to hit a lot of mid-air shots, which is pretty impressive, honestly. Like, Mid-air shots are hard to do, and I think it helps that this thing is basically a laser beam. A lot of the bazookas have a lot of arc on them, so it's harder to, to utilize. Um, I mean, this thing has some arc, but it's lesser, you know, so it makes it a little bit easier. Come on. Ugh. We got the kill, but they bailed out, so no dice. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Who's shooting me? Is that my own team again? Bruh. You kidding me right now, dudes? Dude, I don't understand it. My iron sights is right over those guys. Oh, I killed Serenzik. Ha! <laughs> Love you, Serenzik. Um, my iron sights, I feel like they're right over them, but I keep missing. Is there something off with, like, the calibration on this gun or something like that? I don't get it, man. I'm on the struggle bus, man. All right, we just need to go over here. We cap this. There might be some hostiles, but that's nothing. I a little pistol boy I can't handle. We got this, dudes. We got this. All right. I bet they're in that little hut. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Actually, let's take this transport ship, and I'd like to fly over to their other little ship up there. I just want to see what it's like. You know? Oh, we're actually about to win. We're actually... How do I lift off with this thing? Oh, I'm in the... I'm not in the pilot seat. How do you get in the... Oh, oh, whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there we go. Alright, we did get the dub ski right there, which is beautiful. This thing has a gun? Oh, get destroyed. Alright. We can still land over here, though. I want to just check this out real quick. If we can. Ah! There's still enemies. Even though we win the battle, there's still, like, basically a free-for-all. Okay, just hop off, because that's, yeah, a mess. Okay. Oh, this is, like, a cute little mini ship. I like it. Um, this is pretty cool. We didn't really get to fight up here, but that's alright. And they have their own transport here. I think I saw, uh, X-Wings were spawning over here, too. So that's kind of cool. Oh, God! No, 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 no. Oh, I was out of ammo. Wait, I gotta reload. Shoot. Alright. Um, so yeah, this is Exegol. Really, really cool. I love this. What you live for in Ravenfield. And we fall. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be about it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.